What's up guys, MD 2.0, back with another video, and this is a preview of Cowboy Jets that I will still be streaming there's Sunday. Last night, Jets won, okay, over the Buffalo Bills in overtime. Um, that was a fun game last night, I'll be the first to say that, um, but earlier today, Aaron Rodgers has been announced he tore his Achilles and he'll be out for the season. Which means it'll be Zach Wilson starting this Sunday against Dallas. Um I want to say this. I did not this injury sucks for a lot of reasons. It sucks for the and the fans of the Jets. Because the Jets fans have been waiting. Have been waiting for a team to finally get them. To get them that big push. Get them to a, at least a title game. And now goes their song. Now their defense could get them there. No question. Their defense could win the game. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Sunday. Right? Um, but. Aaron Rodgers. This, I, I do not believe. This is his last year. Um, I don't believe this is how he's going to go out. As a QB. I um, think he'll be back. And I think he will definitely be. Definitely be top. Definitely be one of the top guys in the league. And uh, <clears throat> when I talked, when I said, I can't wait for Aaron Rodgers for Prescott two, two, three seasons, didn't know what that, that was going to cause. I'm praying. And Rogers gets healthy, comes back next year. Fires all Sanders, comes back better than ever. Uh, I really hope that. And uh, prayers up to um, Aaron Rodgers, his family, his friends, stuff like that. Uh, it, it's a tough injury, but injuries happen. Um, this was a good, good team win by New York, and, and there's many reasons why, okay? First off, right, New York came this game, four plays in, lost Rodgers. One thing I respect about New York, they didn't just lay down and die, right? Because if you saw the Packers, right, that one game versus Joe Nub, what they put Joe Nub in, they didn't lay down uh, either, but still. Like, you know what I mean? Tempo. Don't just lay down that because your star quarterback or a star cornerback or star running back, star wide receiver out. Compete. Compete. Chiefs had Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey out one Thursday ago. And they almost won that game. Look, this is going to be a good, good game come, come Sunday. It's going to be that defense versus the Jets defense. The Cowboys defense versus the Jets defense. That's what I believe. I, I believe it's going to be a defensive game. Um, my, That old line is going to need to... That... If I'm the Jets, I am working that old line because if you don't and the Cowboys come into week two fired up on all cylinders, you're you're going to like last this past Sunday, you're not gonna have a chance. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. Um 
And if the special teams and defense is able to do what they did last week, this past Sunday, it's over. Cowboys win. It's easy as that. But you look at this team going forward. You look at this trajectory. Trajectory. The Jets. Okay? Let's look at their schedule. They got... Yeah, they got Dallas. They got Dallas coming up. That's alone, okay? That's alone. A very, very tough game. Now adding up, you don't have your star. It'll be, uh, it's going to be a tough game to win, but they definitely could. Another game. Let's go down the line a little bit. Patriots. What I saw, and I didn't speak on this, should have. Patriots. When, when I predict them sweep New England, I didn't expect New England to come out on Sunday and almost beat Philadelphia. Now, could they drop off like they have in seasons past? Yes. But this is this New England team is looking really dangerous. Right? Dolphins. Dolphins might take both for just. Dolphins are incredible right now. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. They look incredible right now. But this is a game I'm going to be looking forward to for many reasons. How Zach Wilson is going to play as the starter now. Because he was behind Rodgers for an offseason. Pretty good matter of offseason. How's he going to come in this game? How's he going to be in this game? Especially against that second area in that D-line of Dallas. It's going to be interesting to see. In the Jets, what in their D nine, are they going to in their thing there? Are they going to force Dak in the bad passes, which they know Dak does? Because these are all things you factor in to games, right? But yeah, man, it, it's just one of those things. You look at this team, both these teams, they're contenders. Both their confidence. Especially if that defense on both teams can keep it up. And the offense can step it up. Uh, they're going to be contenders. but And they're going to continue to be more contenders. So. But yeah guys. That's my preview. Uh, tomorrow. My week 2 NFL predictions. Cannot wait. And I'll see you guys then. So. Alright guys. Peace out.